Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna show you how to hem dress pants by hand. So I know you probably want to say this is not dress pants. I know that. And this one lighter color underneath it. This is the real dress pants. Take a look at the stitches, the hem stitches. You can barely see them. I'm pointing them to you. And the fabric's thinner, lighter. This is dress pants. But I just happen to have this pair of uh, business casual pants I need to hem so I'm gonna show you in this pair of pants using blind stitch to get the correct uh, leg length you want the person in this case the husband to wear it inside out and use a ball pin to pin it or just to measure it using a ruler or use a chalk to mark it so I already did that and it looks like I'm gonna take out 5 inch Now I'm just making sure it's 5 inch all the way around Now you wanna grab your iron to make the new crease well, Here is a tip, if you are dealing with the real um, dress pants or you are hemming your skirt You need to lay a protection fabric on top of your pants or skirts And then iron Now it's time to work on the hem I learned this later that the typical hem depth for dress pants is one and a half inch. So remember that because I'm doing like two inch here, which is like, like I said, this is not real dress pants, so I'm okay with that. And uh, since I'm not using the sewing machine, I'm gonna use the roll over method to hide the rough edge. Um, you'll get a bad idea of what I'm talking about though after I cut off the excess fabric, but now. Just, uh, you know, let me take care of the 2-inch hem. I'm using a chalk to mark the 2-inch. Uh, make sure you use some uh, washable marker. Um, Taylor's chalk would be the best. And I want the rolled over edge to be only one quarter of an inch. So look at this. 2-inch first. That's going to be my hem. And right next to that, I'm going to go for another one quarter inch. Now connect the marks to have a straight line, so I did one of them, now is uh, the other one. So this one is going to be my hem, and that's where I'm going to cut. Just a warning, you want to be very sure about your measurements before you start cutting, because you can never go back, just be sure. Throw the excess away. So I kept saying, rolled over, and this is what I meant. You're going to roll the raw edge to the inside along the chalk line and the pin in place, of course. Make sure everything is in place before you start hand sewing. You can even grab your iron and uh, press it a couple of times. Take a look at it one more time. So the cut ends are secured because it's tackled inside. Very good. So let me grab my real dress pants to study. The stitches are around like one inch apart, but again, thinner fabric. For this one, I'll probably do um, a half of an inch apart the stitches. Okay, let's get the blind stitch technique started. So I usually start from the inseam so I can hide the knot there. And let's take a first stitch. Camera actually didn't record the first one, so let's start from the second stitch to catch the outside fabric, you only need around three threads. That's a chunk, that's too much. Only three. There you go. Pull the thread through and uh, not too tight, not too loose, just enough. That's it. Now insert the needle in. You're trying to treat the hem pocket as a tunnel. You're gonna go through one quarter inch of the tunnel and pull the needle out. You can use that ruler as a gap. Let's repeat the process. Only catch two or three threads here. Then you want to insert the needle in and go through the tunnel. The hem treat the hem pocket as a Tunnel. You go through, you want to go around a quarter of the inch, use your ruler as a guide, and then bring the needle out. That, you fin just finished a blind stitch. Now do it one more time, only catch three threads, that's barely nothing. And then you want to do another one quarter inch of a tunnel. Let's take a look at, this is the outside. Can you 
tell where the stitches are and this is the inside now watch closely this uh, is uh, how much three or four threads you want to catch here and uh, when I'm done when I did uh, the tunnel and the three threads thing all around the pants I tie the knot and still hide the knot behind the inseam remove all the bobbins grab the iron and uh, give the whole piece of work uh, a good press now we're done flip it over now it's outside out and uh, this is our final stitches barely showing on the back side well now you can give it a try make sure you like the new hem the length and then do the other leg and then you're done wear the hem pants thank you so much for watching if you have any questions please leave in the comments below see you next time